Oh shit, this is the big one for today. So Palm, are you here? Are you ready for this? Okay, this is, uh, I have a video to show for this one as well, okay? On video, 24 trashed, forced to say, Gaumataki Jai, did I say that right? Gaumataki Jai, in, in somewhere in India. I can't pronounce this where this is, but this is somewhere in India. Let me actually read the summary before I show you the video. Um, a group of 24 men who claim to be transporting cattle to an animal fair in India were trashed and forced to chant Gaumata Kejai by a gang of cow vigilantes yesterday. In a disturbing video of the incident filmed with a mobile phone, 15 of those men can be seen tied together with rope and forced to kneel by a uh, kneel by side by the side of the road in full view of the public while being made to chant gao matake jai i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but this roughly translates victory to mother cow i thought it means like all deities are inside the cow or something like that but this is is translating it as victory to mother cow the men were stopped by a band of vigilantes who numbered 100, according to a report by news agency PTI, which is a no local news agency by the village itself for every Hindu or Hindu apologist that is going to come and say, fake news, fake news, okay? This is Indian local news, okay? I'm going to show you the video. I, you know, last time we showed a video of some. This is happening more and more in India, by the way. And last time we said, like, they're not going to be able to say fake news because we have video this time. And we showed the video and they still said fake news. Anyways, I'm going to show the video of this soon. The vigilantes alleged the men were transporting 20 odd cattle for slaughter. They were overpowered, tied up and paraded through the streets on their way to the police station. No action has yet been taken against the vigilantes, police say. Uh, police say they are uh, probing allegations of cruelty. Okay. So, Pam, you better be here. Okay, you're here. Let me show you the video. I'm going to have a lot to say about this. <sighs> okay. And I, I also want a clarification on this news because I when I read the news, there was something in it that I could not believe. Let me see. I'll make sure it's not muted. Okay, play it. To Madhya Pradesh. Now, there's a Congress government here, and recently in the Assembly, a bill against lynching, mob lynching, was actually passed uh, related to cow slaughter. But now, what's happening is that we've seen that over 20 over 20 people, so-called cattle smugglers, were again caught by self-styled vigilante groups. They were beaten up and forced to chant Gao Mata Ki Jai. Interestingly, now this group of over 20 young people had mixed people. They were Hindus and Muslims, all of them beaten up, thrashed and asked to chant Gao Mata Ki Jai. And now the police have filed cases against these men who were beaten up, saying that why were they allegedly dealing in cattle so far nothing no arrests have been made for the people who actually beat them up okay show the video 24 men beaten tied with ropes and paraded by their attackers and when even this was not enough the mob forced these men to kneel by the side of the road and chant gau mata ki jai This is the latest attack in the name of the cow. These men were attacked in Khandwa in Madhya Pradesh. The reason? They were transporting 20 cows but didn't have any papers to prove that they were going to a cattle fair. The mob on its own decided that these men, 18 Hindus and 6 Muslims, were cow smugglers and beat them. Not just that, the Gaurakshuks openly bragged about it as well. All right, so I showed the video. Let me just go back to myself. Okay, okay. All right. Um, what what is interesting about this news? Actually, let me search for it in the article. If I search for arrested, the, uh, what it says, it seems. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like the people that the people that were tied by these Hindu extremists, um, Hindu vigilante, whatever, 
Um, they, they, the, the people that were tied, the victims were arrested, but the people that were actually tied them up and forced them to chant the, uh, that cow is holy or whatever. What does it say? Uh, all hail holy cow. Um, they're not arrested. And they're like, we're investigating it. So wait a minute. I don't understand. Why is it? Why are they arrested? They say, okay, they, they're arrested because they didn't have documents for transporting the cattle. Don't, <laughs> like, is that not insane? That, that the, the people that tie these, poor, uh, the victims are arrested, but the people that tie them up, the police are like, oh yeah, we're investigating it. Even though there's like, so, do you see how many people were holding phones and recording this? Like, how much more evidence do you need? Like, how come it was so fast for you guys to arrest the people that are tied up? The victims and not any not not a single person that has done this has been let me actually see so am i getting this right actually okay let me see so i'm saying gal matakai jai roughly translates to victory to mother cow saraya is saying yeah it means all hail holy cow so i'm saying hindu atheists are more annoying than muslim apologists who quote zakir naik uh gv is saying there was another incident a few days ago children in the madrasa playing cricket were beaten by BGP. By the way, for people that don't know, BGP is the Hindu Nationalist Party of India. Is their extremely, uh, you know, right-wing Hindus, H Hindu extremists, um, and they you know, the president is the, B you know, Mobi is part of the party, and it's getting, it's getting really crazy in India. BGP youth wing and f uh, forced to change. Okay, so this is like, hap this is just one of the many examples. This is happening a lot right now in India. Okay, there's just so many of them. By the way, a lot of people are, <laughs> you know what, are, Chris, you know what are some of the responses are going to be? They're going to be like, Oh, but look what Muslims did. Look, they're going to give us some news articles about what some Muslims did uh, in India. Okay? And you go like, oh, here's what? another... Here. Like, so they're fa like, they, they are trying to excuse tying people up and forcing them to cha chant Hindu chants by by showing some crimes committed by Muslims. They think that uh, that's, actually, that's actually a strong defense. I mean, I don't know what to say to them. I like, do I... I, I it's so... It's so it's so stupid that you, you you have to see my Facebook and Twitter feed, Chris. Uh, so many Hindus are angry with me that we're actually now covering this, uh, and so many people are emailing us, tweeting at us, and half of them are like, "But what about Muslims? But what about Muslims? Oh, here's another sending me a news article out after news article after about what Muslims are doing." I'm like okay okay so okay based on that argument then muslims could also now go and say but what about hindus everything they're doing now is, is the game who's the, who who's committing the more crimes is that the competition you guys are playing um so i'm saying they didn't have proof of cattle fair it's just an excuse used by the attackers so these these people are these these people that are attacking uh random people in the streets they are not the police, okay? These are just a Hindu mob and they're just showing up and they're asking for documentation. Who the fuck are you to ask for documentation? You're not the fucking police. And they're tying people up because they don't have because they don't have documentation because it's not about the documentation. They really want to beat these people up or tie them up in this situation because they are offended that they ha they're selling cows. Okay? But they're just hoping that they don't have documentation so they could do this. But, you know, like, oh, yeah, we tied them up because they have no documentation. Ah, oh, go fuck yourself. You, you're like, who, like, why are they not arrested? Why is the police like, okay, fine, they don't have documentation. But what the, f you, who, who the fuck are you? Why are you tying people up and forcing? And, it, and it, another thing, a lot of people are like, oh, they did something illegal. They have no documentation. So that's, this is justified. Really? It's, ju it's justified to force people to do religious chant while kneeling on the ground because they didn't have documentation? Like, the, the, these people's standards and making excuses for this. I mean, this would be headline news if in the United States, for example, imagine, imagine this. Imagine how much international attention this would get. If in the United States, okay, some people like in the South, some white supremacists or whatever, were um, looking for immigrants and asking people for documentation, and they finally found some illegal immigrants that don't have documents on them, and they've tied them up 
in the United States and made them kneel on the ground and forced these immigrants to chant to say like oh Jesus is Lord like let's say they got a bunch of Muslims and they tied them up and forced these Muslims to chant uh, Jesus is Lord you know how much international attention that would uh, that would get if something like this happened you know how much the regressive leftists would be you know happy about becoming more relevant they would be they would be this would be a, like a gift to them okay because that's their 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 devil actually did something that makes the, them more relevant but when it comes to brown people doing uh, being victims by other brown people they don't care because they don't care about their fellow human beings this is not getting enough attention because the people that do virtue signaling and all of that they care they don't care about other humans they ha it has to be their country it has to be close to them it has the enemy that is committing the the the, the villains that are committing the crime has to be the villains that they recognize or the villains that they have defined their identity around but this this doesn't get attention okay this doesn't get attention and this is happening this the rise of the alt-right people is not happening um in europe as much uh, it's not happening in the united states as much as in india if you are concerned about the alt-right look at india this is um, when we talk about india we're not just talking about one country just one other country this is one billion freaking people that are victimizing a minority of their citizens but that it, that when we say minority people have to understand how many Muslims are in India because when you say minorities we are we're talking about a large group of people Muslims okay we're not talking about minority this is affecting the change in India that is happening is affecting more people than any of the trends that is happening in the United States and in Europe if you care about your fellow human beings, you have to talk about this. It doesn't matter if you're in India or not. If people in India are like, oh, this is our country, you don't get to talk about it. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? This is our planet, and these are our fellow human beings, so we're going to talk about it. We don't give a shit that it's your country and not our country, okay? We're going to talk about it, okay? And thank you, again, thank you to people in India that are trying to get international attention to this they are that are not so sensitive about their country looking good oh india is so great hinduism is so great no they care about their fellow human beings more than the image of their country so thank you to the people in india that are actually trying to stop this nonsense ay 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 soraya is saying it creates a dilemma nowadays that uh, do we have to talk for muslims or for hindus uh, they seem to uh, they seem stubborn and since BGP came in power this moral policing and bullying have increased Soraya it doesn't matter if you're Muslims or they're Hindus you speak here for your fellow human beings okay you don't you don't speak for these people because they're Muslim okay or they're because they're Hindu it doesn't matter if they're Muslim or they're Hindu they're being tied up and being forced to chant some some bullshit that's good enough okay you're not taking the Islamic side if you're protecting Muslims from harm, okay? You're not taking, taking the Hinduism side if you're trying to protect Hindus from harm by Muslims, okay? You're taking the side of your fellow human beings, that's what you're doing. D is saying maybe victims were arrested to get them safety away from the mob. Well, that's not what the news would say, but I'm hoping you're right, uh, D. Sopam is saying punishing people for not following a particular religion and often killing them. I sense sounds familiar. So upon, I wouldn't go that far. It's important that when we recognize a problem, we don't exaggerate the problem. ISIS is a lot worse than this. Was I mean, was a lot worse than this. I mean, still is, kind of. Uh, um, no, I mean, this is horrible. This is bad. But it's not ISIS level bad. Soraya is saying 30 to 40% of Muslims. What? What do you mean? Uh, so I'm saying 200 million Muslims in India approximately okay so just don't get confused when we say minority India is huge when we say minority Muslim we're talking about more Muslims than most what, what's the ranking I think India comes to number four when it comes to the population of Muslims in one country I think four or five I don't remember but uh, you're mi they're minority Muslim 
But they come, they're number four in the number of Muslims in one country. So that's how big India is. So Pam is saying uh, they sent death threats to a guy who organized a food fair which had beef as an item. And this was Kolkata where beef is legal. The food fair got canceled sadly. Interesting. So yeah. By the way, India, a lot of people don't know in some places in India, um, beef is legal. Some places is not legal so it's not um you know it depends where in india you're talking about so Pam is saying ice is a lot worse but still it, it this is gradually incre increasing to in severity i don't think okay it is it, it is gradually increasing in severity india is a major concern and it will is i think it will grow but i will i don't think it will ever get to isis level uh cruelty but it is it is still a major concern and a major growing concern. Uh, oh, so Pam is saying the third largest Muslim population after Indonesia and Pakistan. Third, even though Muslims are a minority. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.